Insists his daughter had the right of way when she crossed into the street and was hit by a vehicle. But police say that's just not the case. The third grader was critically injured when she was hit by a pickup truck at the intersection of Bunnell Road and West Town Parkway in Altamont Springs at around 9 o'clock last night. West News Dave McDaniel is live at the intersection in question with more on the debate over who had the legal right of way. Dave? Well, Jim, and the father of the eight year old says they often make that walk. They live right over there. They walk across the street to go over here to the Winn Dixie to get ice cream. Last evening, police say the eight year old stepped out in front of a car that was going eastbound. The father insists his daughter had a walk light, while police say it was vehicle traffic that had the green light. Um, we don't know now if she's going to live or not live. A father takes a break from eight year old Kyla's hospital bedside to share what he witnessed. So I watched her get hit by the truck. It's something I probably will never be able to get out of my head again. He says his daughter is crosswalk savvy and that she knows what light she needs to see before moving ahead. He said there had been a power outage Tuesday. I don't know if that messed the lights up. I don't know if that made it green and walk at the same time. I don't know. All I know is it said walk when my daughter went into the crosswalk. Our thoughts and prayers are with her, hoping for a recovery. Police investigators say while sympathetic to Kyla's family, the driver will not be ticketed. Multiple witnesses advise that the eastbound and westbound lanes of West Town Parkway had the green light. Traffic engineers told investigators the lights are designed to make sure cars and walkers never get mixed signals. And then after Tuesday's power outage, the signals were checked when power was restored. And cops double checked the intersection after the eight year old was hit. One of the things the investigators made sure to do was to test that crosswalk, and it was operating correctly at the time. Now a family waits. If she does live, we don't know if she's going to be able to speak or walk or read ever again. Like, we don't know. While the traffic lights were working last evening, there was a street light that was out. And according to the cops, that did hurt visibility somewhat here at this intersection. But again, as far as traffic moving through here, they say it was vehicle traffic that had the green light. Public Works tells us they checked that street light two weeks ago and it was working, and that nobody had reported that it was now out. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.